On numerous occasions, lives have been lost on our roads in avoidable circumstances such as when pedestrians dash across major highways. Our first story today is inspired by the death of a young man along the Ushudi Expressway. Now, in the course of the week, we got a report of a building that had become a source of threat to the neighbours on Herbert Macaulay Way, Yaba. We responded by visiting to see for ourselves what's going on there. While many residents had their fingers burnt when Lagos State visited the Amuo Dofi estate, one of the families affected is wondering why they were included in the demolition exercise. Sit back as we invite you on this journey. This is Eyewitness Report. I am Chris Elebs. Infrastructure such as pedestrian beaches are meant to help road users cross very busy highways with relative ease. That way, everyone is safe. But the temptation to quickly sprint across the roads has resulted in some fatal accidents, such as what happened around Sele bus stop in Lagos. That's our curtain raiser for the day. One death too many on our roads. A sad incident that reminds us of how much attention we pay safety and security. This is what is left of a young man who we were told jettisoned the pedestrian bridge and chose the option of dashing across the Oshudi Expressway, a decision so fatal and final. An eyewitness who was at the scene of the incident recounts the experience. On the 2nd of March 2017, I was coming from work. That was about um, quarter to four. I happened to experience a very fatal accident. There was this guy that, was, that wanted to cross the road. He didn't use the pedestrian bridge. He took the, he crossed the normal, the normal road. So on his way crossing, he had already crossed. His sandals fell off his foot. So on wanting to get the sander back, he never knew a tanker, fuel tanker was coming. So the tanker crushed his head and his body was all over the place. It was a very fatal accident. My advice for the citizen of Lagos State and the Nigerians are you should we should always learn to take the pedestrian bridge. Days down the line, we visited the access to observe how much pedestrian engage the bridge provided. Even while there is a standby kick against indisciplined vehicle, road users did what they wanted. This is the ever busy Osho, the Apapa Expressway, and we are at the Sele Access. And as you can see right behind me, there is a pedestrian bridge, but yet people still prefer to cross the express, and this is always very fatal. We attempted to get reactions from some of the people on what informs their choices of how to cross over the busy road. The reason why I took the passenger is to avoid accidents. Because some of the vehicles, they used to take uh, one, one way. You might not know that. Maybe, maybe you want to cross, you need at uh, one side. Some, some of them used to take uh, one way. They might be coming from the side that you know you can't. That might cost you your life. I feel that it is very safe to make use of the pedestrian bridge, minding the fact that it is pro it meant to protect your own life. So uh, I, I want to say that it would be very advisable that people make use of the pedestrian bridge. For some of them, climbing the bridge is a tall task. It's easier to claim to sprint across, notwithstanding the associated danger. Naturally, I don't use the bridge. Why? It is, but it's very stressful. Sometimes somebody has labored the whole day, now you want to go home. You have to climb the whole of this, climb it down there. It's because of these uh, people that make me the climb now. Sometimes I do use it now. I do use it at times, but not always. But when I feel that my body, when I climb it, I feel somehow, then I prefer crossing the road. So, but when I look at my head, I'm, I can 
climb the bridge. They don't know the value of their life. And the, uh, uh, the problem we are having, this is not, the pedestrian bridge here is, uh, is only in some areas. Like uh, there is a Toyota bus stop over there. Most of the pedestrians needed the pedestrian bridge more than any other places. But the thing is not there. And a lot of people lose their life there on a daily basis just because of absence of pedestrian bridge. It's very, very important because you can't be crossing the road. Some, some of our drivers are very careless. They do take one way instead of taking the normal distance. So it's very, very important. The traffic on the Osho the Expressway is constant and fueled by the numerous business outfits on that axis, including the Nigerian Port Authority. A bottleneck created where the airport road branches off often give rise to surge in traffic congestion, especially during rush hours, prompting the need for a pedestrian bridge at the Toyota bus stop. <laughs> the closest pedestrian bridge is almost a kilometer. Stand Even while there is a standby kick against indisciplined vehicles, time road users. So you don't a lot of people have died in this uh, crossing of this bridge. If I can count up to 10 people that I witness, and it's very difficult for us to cross. And we've been saying about this several times. The government should come and help us. Come and help us and intervene to give us a bridge on this place. If you call me at night, you definitely you see that body around here. More accident, they are not safe here. Please on safety act. Please let them get us a bridge down here. They need it. They need that bridge, your bridge. bit. They need it here. That's it. They need because several times many accidents has happened. So they need the over bridge. Further away from the of her. The case is not different here. Only a handful make. Majority still prefer the old and often dangerous choice. For us that used to carry load, and uh, maybe the load is very much for you to carry. In, in, inside truck and climb the bridge, then you have to use it to cross. But uh, it, that is not advise everybody to be crossing with us that are carrying load. Our own is we are doing it because we don't know any other thing to do in order to eat, make what we can eat for the, our daily bread.